Hey team, it's your boy Joshua here at Smirk Studios, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up uh, your Twitch TV account for streaming. Does that sound good? All right, let's get started. So, um, as you can see here, this is my page. I've got plenty of videos now. I've got some followers, and I'm following some people. Uh, when you sign in, be sure to follow all the insight tutorials that they kind of like funnel you into. As long as you don't have to pay for anything, just do it because it's really going to help you out. I recommend spending the time to set up your account because it's going to pay off later down the line. And, and just a f friendly reminder, I hope you're doing this for fun. You know what I mean? Uh, if you're trying to get rich quick. Just make sure you're spending the time. Anything you want to see success or turn around in, just make sure you're spending the time uh, and having fun. That's the only way to true success. Let's get started. You're going to go to your profile here. Once you've logged in and jumped through all the hoops that they have you set, uh, set in, and you're going to go to settings. All right. And make sure, again, that you got yourself any anything, just a profile picture or something. You know what I mean? Uh, there are many different ways you can uh, customize all these kinds of things. I, again, this is not a video about really setting up your Twitch profile. Um, I'm just letting you know that it's really a good thing to do to really dial all that in. Now, let's go over to channel and videos. All right. And as you see here, this is the main piece of information that you really want. This is how streaming is possible on Twitch. Uh, I'm not going to click show here because obvious reasons. This is how you could stream as me and I would just not want that. So uh, go ahead and copy that so it's on your clipboard. And uh, now I'm going to show you which program to use. Don't worry about any of the suggested programs. Here's the one to use. Just go ahead and go to OBS Studio. That is the highest recommended uh, one I could find and it seems like that's the one everyone's using. It was also the simplest to set up. So that's why I'm recommending it to you. Uh, also, for the sake of simplicity, I'm not here to review a bunch of different programs. You're welcome to try out all the different other software there is available to you. Here at the website, it should look like this. You're looking for this logo right here, just in, ter in terms of knowing that you have the right place. It's confusing because all of these different programs have OBS in the title. And so uh, just make sure the website looks like this that you're downloading it from. I have Windows. This tutorial is for Windows users. Um, but it is obviously set up for Mac and Linux. Um, again, you can set this up on your phone. Also, it's just it's wonky. It's better, it's better this way. Um, now, once you've downloaded it, it should go to your download folder. You just click and open all that kind of stuff. Uh, and once you've got it installed, again, this is not telling you how to install things. There are many tutorials about how to install programs on your computer. Uh, but now we got OBS open here. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, similar to Twitch, spend the time. Ta get to know the, the program. There's all these different options and stuff. Read them all. Uh, first thing that happens when you install it is it will walk you through what's called the auto configuration wizard. Do it. Do it. Absolutely. Uh, have it tell you what your computer does and what your internet is doing. It will do a speed test for you. Let it do all that kind of stuff. And go ahead and set up the generic settings. Just go ahead and set up the generic settings. Now, if, you do, uh, if you're an advanced user, uh, I don't know why you're watching my video, but uh, here's what you would want to do if you want to dial in any of that information. And um, let's say you at the last second pushed next on the auto setup wizard and you realized, oh, that bit rate wasn't right. I know that or something, you know. Uh, here's how you can fix it. Uh, I've spent a lot of time dialing these in and stuff because of those issues. Um, it's, that's why they recommend that you do a lot of testing before you stream. So anyway, aside from all that, I've got it all set up the way that works for me. Uh, I'm now recording on it, so I cannot give you an example of streaming. Plus, I would be streaming to a Worms Armageddon audience this how-to Twitch video, and that would be very confusing. So, uh, plus, we're not ready yet. Uh, let me show you what we're missing now. The very next step that you want after you've walked through all the wizards and... Uh, <laughs> doesn't that sound great? Walk through all the wizards. So, uh, once you've walked through all the wizards, you can then um, uh, set up your program. 
um, something that it didn't tell me and that I had to look up a tutorial for. Uh, and actually, maybe it did tell me and I just was not um, able to pay attention or something. And once again, you're here at this video too. You probably have a similar issue. Maybe you're learning disability, not holding it against you. You're here like I am. So go down to sources. There's a scenes. They, they all made it seem important to have like scenes and all that. I'm thinking that's advanced use. I'm, I'm also a beginner too. So I'm thinking scenes, don't worry about it. If you know about scenes, go ahead and post it in the comments. I want to hear about it. I want to know more why I should be doing what you think I should be doing. Uh, so back to what I think you should be doing. Go ahead and go to sources. Uh, and you're going to want to hit this plus button. Uh, I don't want to hit it and then change my video somehow. So uh, I'm just going to tell you, hit the button, search for display capture. That's the first thing you want to find. And that will give you this box back here, which is showing you my screen and everything I'm doing. Um, the video capture device, you're going to plus and add the video capture device if you want to see your, your picture there. Um, you know, I don't always necessarily want to see my picture there, but I, this time in this video, decided it would be a good way to go. All right, uh, going back to uh, how you can get started streaming. It looks like you're set up. You want to size your boxes the way you like them, get them all set up, dial in your, your settings here. If you if you want, but it, you should have auto connect wizarded. You're ready. You're ready to go. Uh, if everything matches your your stream key, which you can push show and double check to make sure it matches yours in the. Uh, uh, I'll show you where to put it. You go to settings, and you go to stream. You're gonna put it right here. You set up your your stream account right here, and then you're gonna push apply. And uh, it's going to know you're connected. I, I don't want to, again, I don't want to disconnect while I'm showing you the video. Uh, but this is not a tutorial on how computers work. This is a tutorial on where to find the information in order for you to start streaming on Twitch today. So go ahead and uh, push a apply and OK and, and make sure all your other settings are where you want them. But ultimately, it comes down to the sources. Uh, once you've got those in there, and your microphone set up. There are also sources for microphones in there. You're welcome to play with that. I uh, was able to dial in my microphone through the display capture somehow or the video capture somehow. Uh, anyway, I, I'm seeing, you see, I have like a mic readout here and it tell, it does tell me I'm receiving audio. Plus when I listen to the playback, which you will do, uh, same thing. Man, that sure is a mouthful. What is he, What are you talking about, Joshua? What's going on? I came here to learn about Twitch streaming, and you're just running your mouth. What do we do? Well, listen, okay, here's what you do. You're going to click Start Streaming because you're ready, all right? You click Start Streaming, and you're going to do like a check one, two. You're going to pretend you're a rock star for a second. It's a check one, two, microphone, check. Then go ahead and click Stop Streaming. That's right. I know you just started, but uh, <laughs> 15 minutes of fame is over quick. So uh, you push Stop. You're going to go and go to your videos and you can watch the video and just see how the video looked. Um, it will download into whatever place you want it to. If you go to the settings, I'll show you. You go to video. Oops, I'm sorry. You go to output and it will tell you in, under the recording where the path is. I've got it set up to go to videos. So uh, check a look. It will go to videos and you will click it and you will check, oh, that's a good or bad take or it doesn't work. Or see, I, I was having all kinds of issues with the sizing of the uh, game I was playing. Everything would work here fine, but then the game would be like sized funny. And there are many, many tutorials. Okay, just look it up. If you're having a specific issue, just figure out the keywords for your issue and look it up. You know, I'm here to help you just get started today. So let's do this. Are you ready? Uh, once you've dialed it in and you've got a video that you're happy with and you're like, yeah, that's what I want it to look like to other users. Mind you, everything you've just tested is on Twitch now. So don't go like, you know, just blabbing up a storm and like, you know, uh, talking the, some BS on your friends or whatever, uh, because that's live. You know, that's really when you click start streaming, you're live now. Isn't that exciting? So make sure you're ready to play your game. Don't don't keep your users waiting. Uh, once you've got everything set up, though, once you look at your video and you decide, oh, everything looks great, this is how I want it, you, you're done. You're set. You just go on to uh, your Twitch, and uh, um, here's something I like to do, is I keep a, uh, here, I'll even, let me, let me 
me flip this here. I'll turn this sideways. I've got this here tablet set up right here. And right now it's not on because I'm not streaming live, but it will have my live stream set up so that I can monitor any kind of uh, latency issues there might be. Um, it's a great way to go. If you don't have a tablet, that's okay. Your phone will do the same thing. And if you don't have like a nice little station, mine's just a microphone stand and like something you can buy at the store to hold a tablet on. It was like, honestly, 40 bucks for everything that you saw there besides the tablet. Find your own tablet. Uh, all right, let's 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 quit the BS in here. Let's quit the, I mean, this has been real nice chatting with you and everything, but let's, uh, let's see what happens if I play a game. Oops, I don't want to start a stream. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Ooh, wow. Nah, I shouldn't. Isn't that funny though? I, it looks like uh, it, I could potentially start streaming while talking to you. So that's something you could note and look into for yourself. But let's uh, let's just take a look real quick and make sure my game is working. And uh, yeah, and then you should be all set. Uh, once you're streaming, you go and play, pick your game up. Uh, you could already have the window open. That would save you a lot of time. And you're now set up. You can go on. It's all up and in, inside. It's it's all gonna be great. Just uh, yeah. I'm not gonna play a full game. I'm gonna go in here and just uh um, say what's up to this person, and then I'm gonna just exit real fast. You know, they're gonna be like, oh man, what happened or something. But anyway, you get the idea. You can now stream. Good job. You did it. Go ahead and. Please subscribe, share. If you have n other information that you think would be helpful, uh, either like my hat's too weird and I shouldn't wear it, or uh, you know you think that um, I I don't know John Deere from uh, Scenes or or Twitch. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't even know what that means. Just uh, tell me all about it in the comments, and uh, I will click like and I will definitely respond to you. That's a promise. Uh, keep it right here for more how-to videos from your boy Joshua H. Metz at Smirk Studios. See ya.